Hi, I'm Vine and welcome to the third episode of Catch Em All Let's Play. Today we start by declaring war on Block of Terra to finally take Sirius system from them. Technically, we could vassalize them now, but we do not have enough forces to do it. Humans have Diplomatic defense alert. alliance war with Khajiit, so prolonged war could be messy. Perfect. Hit hard, take what you can, and sign a peace treaty. I like that kind of wars. We didn't even worsen our relations with Khajiit free traders over it. Now, with these two new planets we got a lot of new pops. I'll resettle humans to Galar and sell all synthetic units incompatible with Galadex system. Meanwhile, the pops that we captured and don't wanna add to our collection will be transferred to Kanto. They will have to wait there a couple of years until we get a chance to get rid of them.
In the time-lapse background, I'll be managing vassals and adding new ones to the leg. Full focus on Scolaria, of course. Time to change government. In previous episode, I've changed civics from strategic research analysis to maintenance protocols and OTA updates. But I didn't bring attention to this, sorry. Now, maintenance protocols are kinda obsolete since we have a lot of biotherapies. Unitary cohesion will be a lot better then.
Domination Tradition 3 finished and next one will be Synchronicity. I choose both of them just because Empire size from Pop's reduction. Humans forgave us serious system annexation quite quickly. Time to offer them a lucrative vassalization deal. Block of Terra is in the league. Time to think about other megastructures aside gateways and orbital rings. We will build Science Nexus for research speed and to unlock Galactic Wonders Park. Also, time to revoke Kajit Free Traders Association status. We have to declare war on them later to get some Kajit Pops. It's very important for our Pop Team balance. Lavinor Divine Imperium is finally neutral towards us, and this means that they are ready for lucrative vassalization deal. Also, do not worry, we already have one Lavinor pop in our collection. I will present it later, when Gameplay Vine finally noticed that terraforming project on Unova is already finished. Moreover, don't worry about Lavinor Vassal status. They just need a lot more convincing to become a Scholarium.
I have finally decided to take Defender of the Galaxy perk. For now, it's mostly for plus 20 points opinion bonus, but plus 50% damage to Crisis also will be helpful later. Now, when Lavinor became a Scolarium, time to build Pop Gym next to Pop 8 Center. And yes, I know that Ministry of Science will be more optimal, but roleplay comes first. Pop Gym and Pop 8 Center for everyone! Finally, I can present to you two last planets in our game plan. First is Unova, Tropical Unification Center and home to Lavinor. And about them, children of Lavinor God Emperor, flower of Fusang. They live to ascend into Great Garden in Galaxy Core and connect with the true essence of their spiritual leader. In recent years, Lavinor figured out how to reproduce by budding. Unfortunately, this process requires rooting. Second planet is Desert World Orre, currently uninhabited by any biological pop. Ok, it's time to declare war on Khajiits. Now the war plan. We will declare war of vassalization and snatch for ourselves one of their planets. Any pop that we are interested in is resettled to our space and pops waiting on countdown for expulsion will be resettled to this planet. Then we give planet back to Khajiits. Meanwhile, one of our many vassals got attacked. Not a problem, but this timing is suspicious. Feels like AI is trying to take advantage here. Oh, Gaia World's civilization finally got technologically enlightened. To be honest, after 80 years, I don't really care about them. But welcome to the League! In the middle of a war, we finally finishing all traditions. Nice! After traditions, time to spend Unity on Capital Ascension, so Unity production can go to the roof.
And we have one. Kajit Free Traders are our tributary now. Time for pop resettlement. First to resettle are Kajit themselves and they are going to Ransay. They are cats that have left their home world long time ago. They live from trading, sending caravans left and right to gather coin, as they say. Kajits are also known for making an addictive drug called skooma from exotic gases. Next in line are Pricky. They will feel right at home in Orre. Pricky are cute lizards from the world of Gish. Someone carelessly freed them from their shielded planet and galaxy had to endure their genocidal tendencies once again. And the last pop acquired today is one unlucky cockroach that will go to Kalos. The cockroaches are one of species confirmed to be created by humans. Originally, they meant to be just mass-produced warriors, but now they are much more. The cockroaches found a new purpose to their existence, to bring freedom and equality to whole galaxy, by force, if necessary. And now we can safely give the planet back with unwanted pops on board. Okay, this is annoying. Bullying my vassals again? Why? It's probably Alert. Paradox Station Engine engage. bug. Alert. This Station one's fleet engage. is unengageable. Alert. Station engage. 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 Okay, it stopped attacking space station. I just hope that this bugged fleet will be somehow destroyed later. It got destroyed! And apparently we got some planets from this small conflict. Now time for resettling and giving these worlds to our vassals.
Again? But this time, this is rebellion? Pricky, you little bastards! I will show you what happens when you mess with the League members. Unfortunately, it's time to end this episode. And we didn't even get through full 50 years. But next time, we will finally start evolving our pups. Uh, technically, I started doing it in this episode, but I haven't named them yet. So next time, pop evolutions with new names. See you later.